Okay, so to set this up, my green marker was the beginning of the round, and I put the first stitch marker after the third stitch, and then I increased one. I didn't do it here, but I'll show you. Knit, 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 all the way. I used the begin the first half of it as the back so that I, because I just didn't put the center marker earlier. Um, but I knitted all the way over to here, which is like stitch number 51. 51 was like the one after, so I put one before it. Do an increase. Knit, knit, knit. Slip. Increase. So my center stitch marker I think was on stitch number like 23. Yours may be different. Um, I'm not sure what size you're making, but I think I'm making size medium. So the front had, I think, oh, I had 53 stitches in the front. Oh, so this must be 27 then. Um, so basically what you have to do is count 20 or subtract it. So if I did 27, I should probably count this one. Put 2, 24, 26, 27. Okay, so 27. So I'll knit up to 7. an extra one because it's for the German short row. Turn. Slip it. Pull it real tight so that it has those double hinges right here. Then wrap around, right? So you bring it back to the front because you're purling. So now this is the wrong side of the German short row and then you just keep purling all the way across. Knit, 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 kn